Okay, so I know I said it before that um, we are not a family of time travelers here on Beachy Way. But one thing that I decided to do was create a um, video for those who are a little apprehensive to time travel. Um, I used to be the exact same way and that's mainly the reason why I don't want to do it. I wound up suffering through some consequences of my actions and I want to make sure that you guys don't wind up doing the same thing. Why I choose to time travel today is really because of one problem that I never knew about while playing Animal Crossing. Um, New Horizons, all the way until I was terraforming and so on and so forth, I felt that I was like almost done with the island. And then I found out you can only have a maximum of eight inclines. So I'm not kidding, that's eight inclines total. And I had no idea. And the problem with that was that my museum had four inclines alone for the main entrance. And this was obviously a major issue. Um, I'm going to be debunking a couple of myths also about time traveling. I'm going to do it live right now so that you guys have a pretty good idea on how to do it, what is going to happen if you do it, and um, what are the benefits. So let's set this up first. I'm going to put this right here. These are my turnips. I have one stack that I'm gonna drop right here. Okay, why am I dropping these turnips? Because um, the very first thing that you need to know about time traveling is that if you have turnips and you time travel, they will spoil. Okay, so let us move and close the software. So how do you time travel? It's actually pretty simple. You just have to move all the way down to system, down to date and time. And it says synchronized clock via internet. We, we, we don't change this, it's usually real time. So as you can see, it is July 10, 2020 at 9, 10 p.m. right now, where we are. And we're gonna turn this off just by clicking on it and let's change it to the next day. I will, Let's make it 10 o'clock a.m. Why am I making it 10 o'clock a.m.? It's because I want to make sure Able Sisters and Nook's Cranny is open. So that's it. It's, it's really that simple. And then you just have to log back in to your account. Ah, Isabel. Today is actually the fishing tournament, but I'm not joining that. I will, um, just so that you know, every time I time travel forward, once I'm done doing everything that I do, I put it back to real time. And the reason why I put it back into real time is because I don't want my kids to know that somewhere along the way, mommy does cheat a little bit. Okay, so we were talking about turnips, right? Let's see what happened. Oh, the turnips are still good. So let's move on. The turnips are still okay the next day. So that is one major myth. So what is my plan right now? My plan right now is that I'm gonna show you the second um, major consequence of time traveling. Okay, so what do we usually do every morning is that we log on to next stop. And there's one thing here that you have to read it says once per day accessing the nook stop will award you bonus daily miles so seven more than seven days in a row you get 300 bonus miles you will lose this if you do not log in every single day on nook stop so at some point it's just going to go back to 50 bonus miles i don't know how important that would be to you but to us it's pretty important because the miles is actually um something that we think is more significant than bells. The miles is what gets us through this game. It allows us to go villager hunting and so on and so forth. And you can't just buy them, you have to earn them. So this might be important. So number one, one of the consequences could be that you lose your nook stop um, streak. So while we are in here, I am just going to talk to Tom Nook, and I'm gonna ask him if he can demolish another incline for me. Okay, 
So it has been proven that if you time travel really quick within the next 24 hours forward, your turnips are still alive. Okay, so that is one incline down. I have literally, what, two more inclines plus one bridge to go, so. Okay, July 12th, not gonna fiddle with the time anymore. See, nothing really happened. Some people make it out to be a little bit more dangerous than it actually is. Um, it just depends on the pace. I kind of understand why some people time travel. Um, I have a friend who, ha who time traveled for a month to get his beautiful, perfect island ready. And it was worth it. So to each his own. Okay. Good morning, Isabel, again. Now it's Sunday. Of course, there is no real news. All right, let's see what happened to our turnips. That fossil is still there. Uh-oh, here you go. So after time traveling for two days, you will notice that my turnip is now officially spoiled. But today is Sunday, so Daisy May is just lurking around the corner. Oh. Hi, KK. What is he doing here on a Sunday? Oh, because of the fishing tourney. That happened the last time when there was like this bug vest. Do I still get my 300 bonus miles? Yes, I do. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I left that stack of turnips just like lying down there on the ground. And I'm going to explain why. Because a spoiled turnip outside of your house and on the ground um, is supposed to spawn ants, which you can capture and bring to the museum. So let's see if it does that. I am also since I'm in the process of renovating the museum area. I'm going to move the museum here first. So you have to remember another tip about, um, about time traveling and infrastructure changes. You can move one structure, like a house, an island home, a villager's house, or a museum, the campsite, one of those, and one incline or bridge per day. So that might be useful for you guys, especially when you're in the process of just learning how to terraform. Again, let's move the date forward. Now we're on July 13. Good morning again, Isabel. Okay, it's Monday. Still no new news from her, except about her sock. And that fossil is still there. And the huge museum is right outside her door. Okay. Oh, it happened. Look at that. Oh, that's crazy. Do you see those ants? So it's true. It's, it's, it's nice to take a look at them too. Oh, that's insane. All right, let's go. I got my ant. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to take this turnip. We can confirm that spoiling turnips leads to ants. And the, the best way to spoil turnips if you don't want to do it before. Sunday, for some crazy reason, is just a time travel. Okay, I still have my 300 bonus miles. Let's go. Okay, day four. So this is the last day I will be destroying the last bridge or incline that I need. So it's July 14. Did anything happen? We will actually be checking it on this day. 
Okay, July 14, Tuesday. There's, give me something good. Still no news. Thanks, Isabel. Okay, so let's move on to the next couple of consequences that we're supposed to encounter by time traveling. The first is there are supposed to be cockroaches inside the house. Any cockroaches here? Any cockroaches here? I think we're okay. They say that cockroaches are only supposed to appear after one month of not playing the game. Technically, it probably looks like I did still play it every single day because I was just time traveling to the next day instead of time traveling like 30 to 40 days ahead um, or forward in time. So I should be okay if you're trying to pick up some cockroaches. I don't think you can catch them. As far as I'm concerned, you cannot donate them to the museum. But, you know, some people might have a thing for that. As for me, I despise cockroaches. We get enough of them here in Manila and I am about as scared of them as I am of that virtual scorpion that shows up every night here on our island. Okay, so another thing that most people have said is that there is just, you know, a huge amount of weeds that wind up growing all over the place. Um, I'm not too sure about this since it's only literally been about four to five days. So my Nook Miles are all still intact. My bonus Miles is still at 300. Let's see what happens if I time travel back to real time. Okay. So that's what happens when you tra time travel forward day by day. Now, if you time travel forward within a much longer span, like you move from July to December, I'm pretty sure that um, whatever you saw here will be aggravated in terms of the weeds, in terms of probably you're gonna find some cockroaches in your house. Um, they also say that residents have a tendency to feel neglected and they might leave. Let me check my... So let me check my villagers. Let's see if they're all here. Yep, everyone's still here. I love my villagers. We're going to do a video about them one of these days, but yeah. So they're all still here. I hope they don't feel neglected. I am going to now go back in time. Okay, so this is it. We have been time traveling forward. Now we are time traveling back. And um, it's not gonna be a day by day thing. We are, we are just going back, just turn that on and we are back to original time, which is back to July 10, 2020 at 9.40 p.m. Okay, it's July 10, back on tonight, exactly tonight, on a Friday. And you will notice that the museum is here. Okay, great. If you look up at that museum area, you'll notice that it used to be all the way up at the top. Everything has been demolished, which is fantastic. Everything seems like it's okay. Nothing... Nothing looks out of the ordinary. Oh, Flick is here. I had no idea he was here today. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. So I was kind of worried that maybe she felt neglected and wanted to leave and Bianca happens to be my daughter's favorite. Oh no, so it is true. They really do feel neglected. No, 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 you can't go. Please don't leave. Oh, fantastic. So she's not going. Okay, so let's check our daily nook miles and... Oh! I still have my 300 bonus miles. That's incredible. 
That is fantastic. Okay. Okay, so there you have it. Um, things have been debunked completely. So one, yes, you will only lose your Nook Stop Street bonus of 300 bonus miles if you opt to time travel further than 24 hours or one entire day. So for example, if I had time travel, but if I'm just doing it day by day, you should be good. If you are time traveling from Monday to Wednesday, um, and totally skip Tuesday, then most likely you'll lose your streak. But so far, I had it every single day. I moved back to my real time and I still have my streak. So that's a good thing. Um, two, spoiled turnips. Absolutely true. Yes, the turnips will spoil. This is one of the main reasons why I stopped time traveling to begin with, because there was one time my husband had like 160 turnips and I time traveled and I spoiled everything. And that's a lot of money. So um, you don't want to do that. So far, cockroaches, none. Based on what I've read, cockroaches will only start coming up if you don't play for like 30 days. So you should be good. Cockroaches scare me. I hope, you know, they don't scare you as much so you won't be as afraid. But me, I, I don't care whether they're real, they're fake, they're virtual, doesn't matter. I don't want them. Now, weeds. Yes, you'll probably get an insane amount of weeds if you time travel a ridiculous amount of time forward. Um, if you're just doing it day by day, probably not. I did it for maybe what? Why are all my villagers suddenly showing up at the plaza? This is, this is hilarious. So um, again, weeds, uh, just don't time travel too far ahead if you don't want a lot of them. If you do and you don't mind, you can go as far as you want and just pull them all out after. The one thing that surprised me was residents might feel neglected and leave. It's true. And that was only like a few days of time traveling for me. And one of one of our favorite villagers decided that, you know, I think I want to leave. It's a good thing you can stop them from doing so. I think that's one thing that has to be clear, very clear in this game. They don't leave until you accidentally or intentionally tell them, yeah, I think you should go. Um, so that's it. Uh, do not be afraid of time traveling. It, it doesn't hurt that much. It, I mean, it, it's not something to be afraid of. You're not going to lose anything. If anything, um, you manage to keep most of it. But now you know the consequences. You also know the benefits, which as you've seen, it skipped me from having to wait every single day to demolish, you know, just basic stuff so that I could terraform my island as best as I could. So that's about it. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again here on Beachy Way.